So here's our Photoshop file that was just rendered, took about 10 minutes, so it wasn't too bad because I did a medium render. So I'm here in Adobe Photoshop and we can of course go in and add lots of changes and edits to this. We can sharpen it, we can really bring out effects. So I have, you have a couple of, you have these additional layers that are added that you can toggle on and off. This is kind of uh, more advanced kind of issues. So you just go ahead and toggle that off. Don't worry about these additional layers. We're just going to worry about the, the, the main layer here. First thing we need to do is right click, create to a smart object. So we can, you know, keep the original photo source in play. Go to image adjustments. We can do vibrance, exposure, all these different things. I like to go to shadows and highlights. You can really bring out shadows and highlights this way. You can bring out the background more if you wanted to brighten it up. And go hue and saturation so we can tweak the hue a little bit we can even make it more copper if we wanted to increase the saturation I like to sharpen so I can go up to sharpen sharpen more kind of helps to to really bring out details and just to show you the difference uh, post rendering editing makes in Photoshop this was my before of my 2021 uh, design trends cover photo and after about five minutes of tweaking, doing some dodge and burn to some of the letters, bringing out some of those shadows and also bringing out some of the highlights, I was able to kind of tweak it a little bit, even tweak the colors um, to kind of get a nice, more polished finished look in Photoshop post render. Same thing for my typography poster. This is kind of the before and this is the after kind of added a little bit more uh, warmer tones to the gold to make it a little bit more copper and just kind of brought out some accents. So I just wanted to show you this. This wasn't supposed to necessarily teach you Adobe Dimensions, but just kind of show you how easy it is to create 3D typography that's hyper-realistic. There's so much more to Adobe Dimensions to learn. Lots about lighting, and that was just typography. You could do objects, combine objects together to create new shapes. There's so much great content on YouTube about Adobe Dimensions as well. So I just want you to be aware of this as an option for you. You can integrate 3D typography in just about any of your designs, any of your branding. You can use it for almost anything. So anyway, hopefully that's a lot easier than you thought it would be. I think Adobe Dimensions wanted it to be easy for everybody. So there you go. There's the next design trend in the books. Bonus, I wanted to go in more depth about how I created this poster. Um, I showed you a little bit before about kind of how it was constructed, but it was constructed the same way we did the class project with um, just each individual type letter, just like we did 2021. And let me go ahead and rotate this out. You can kind of see how all this looks. And I changed the depth of each one to kind of um, see how the A and the R, let go, go ahead and zoom in here for you. See how the A kind of goes into the R and it kind of makes it fuse together. That's exactly the effect we did with the 2021 where we put kind of some text together and I changed the depth of some of these and to change the depth, you can cl click on the character, just click on the text. So let's say text seven, this is G. I could probably label these, go down and you can change the depth so I can uh, decrease the depth or increase it. And when you increase the depth, on all these and you bring them all together like this, you can kind of create this fused look that you have here. And it's got kind of, uh, it doesn't, the reflection, it's not, it's a little bit more dull. So if I go into the material, if I go into the, the details of any of these, you can see my materials options, I have a little bit of roughness. So it's not gonna be the super duper shiny metal it's a little rough, so it kind of has this kind of matte finish to it. And so if I take the preview, the render preview off, you can kind of see uh, a little bit better how all this is constructed. So let's go ahead and zoom out. I have it in a box. So there's kind of my photo box, if you will. And when it comes to like arranging type, you know, that's the part, like I said before, it's very similar to arranging 2D type in terms of readability, and, you know, just like you would arrange, you could even arrange this in a way uh, that you like in Adobe Illustrator first to kind of get an idea of layout. Like, where do you want, how do you want them to be stacked? You know, it could be a, a totally different look to how I have now. So typography. 
And once again, you're in a 3D space, so not everything has to follow the same plane. So you could have things turned on a different side. I mean, there are so many different arrangements. A lot of times I like to pre-plan in Adobe Illustrator and vector first. It's a good idea. But of course, 3D space, it's hard to do that in Illustrator. We could just turn it and all of a sudden it does like a different option. And this type, this type choice is called Wildfire. I, I had this on my computer a while ago. And the reason I didn't do this particular typeface for a project is because I don't believe it's on Adobe Fonts anymore. Sometimes Adobe Fonts removes typefaces and they, you don't have access to them anymore. I still have this one installed, but I didn't want to necessarily do it for a project if you guys could not access that typeface. I would hate to do that to you, do a project and you wouldn't have the same typeface I worked with. I just really liked how the R looked, how a couple of these uh, letters, kind of the, this interesting R, you can find any, you can use any font here any font that you can install, even the really decorative ones, you can still bring them in. If it's a font, you can use it in Adobe Dimensions. So you can do serif typefaces, scripts, you do some really neat stuff. And I wanted to show you one other one I did, just to kind of show you how you can put together typography and objects as well. So this is one I did for color. So you can see how I brought in a cube and I brought in letters and I played around with the blocks and the letters. Uh, so that, you know, some of the letters are in in overlapping the box. So it looks like they're fused together. This is a liquid element. I'm just going to bring that out. This little liquid element. You can find all these in your starter assets. Uh, let me see where they are. They're going to be in the models. Let's, there's different splash effects. So you can bring this in and you can rotate this just like the type and add a material to it and you can scale it and make it bigger and you can even bring in this I have kind of like a plastic look so it almost looks like paint but you can even bring in glass to give the glass make it look like water too so you can a material can change it too so I just wanted to show you how these are constructed of course this could take an hour to show you how to how we constructed all this but this is kind of you can see I put some materials down here so that it gives it kind of like an environment to be in instead of just being floating in a white environment but that's kind of how this was put together. Let me dolly out. You can see the whole entire space. But I would say this took about uh, 30 minutes or so to put together. And then of course, maybe 10 minutes in Photoshop to kind of tweak the colors to bring out more shadows and highlights and make it more dramatic. But that's pretty much it. That's the 3D space. That's Adobe Dimensions. I just wanted to show you some projects I worked on to show you how quick you can put these together. And I can't wait to see some of your stuff, your 3D typography. If you want to take a stab at it, I'd love to see some student project work. I would love to share it on my Instagram at Lindsay Marsh Design. If you want to tag me, I'd love to share your 3D work that you've done in Adobe Dimensions with typography.